हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इकोनॉमिका आई डॉक्टर गोपाल बी सारस्वत वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड सी हाउ वी कैन कोड अ क्वेश्चन आर रिस्पॉन्सिस विच अ रिसर्चर हैव कलेक्टेड थ्रू अ क्वेश्चन आर सर्वे फ्रॉम द रेस्पॉन्डेंट्स देर आर डिफरेंट मैथड्स दो आर प्रेवलेंट इन द प्रैक्टिस एंड each method of coding your questionnaire have certain limitations for example in my previous video i shown you how you have you could code your questionnaire using microsoft excel function using replace when you use a replace function you could code your questionnaire but what happens when in real time you circulate your questionnaire and you want your responses to be come up in a different but in a coded form so this means that you want your questionnaire responses to be collected in real time and coded at the real time so collection of responses and coding of responses must go hand in hand in real time so how it is possible so that the effort of a researcher could be minimized in transforming the responses of a questionnaire survey and into the coded forms numeric codes so let's start this video so here you can see this is my questionnaire on top of here and we have a list of questions and in the real time i have circulated it the responses is open now and this form is started to collect the responses so i want to code all the questions in real time so that i could collect the responses and code them in real time so how it is possible first of all whatever the responses number of responses you have already collected you click on this green option when you click upon this green option you will come up this new window where you have the collected responses so so far we i have collected around 49 responses i want to i have to code it let's say my sample size is around 1000 so at the end of the collection of responses it become a mammoth task to code all these responses so what if if i code it these responses in real time in the numeric form so that i could uh, prevent that mammoth task at the time of post collection of responses so how it will happen first of all you will go to file go to share and then click publish to web when you click on publish to web click here at publish okay once you do it will give you a link you just copy this link by control c now you open a new uh, excel file here when you open a new excel file there are different options you will get in the excel file there are different tabs are available but what is interesting here is there is a one tab here in excel called data once you click on data it have numerous option what you have to do you click here in the first cell click on tab called data and here you will get this one from web i want it or otherwise you can go from file from excel there are different options are available from other sources you will click on from other sources you click from web once you click here a new window will pop up here the link you have already copied earlier from the google drive from your form or your google sheet you just paste it here by control v click okay once you click okay it will start connecting itself to the google sheet where you had collected your responses so now it, you can see that it is trying to connect with the google sheet once the collection is get established it will pop you two options here here you have to click on table 
here you start to see your data or the responses that is being collected okay now you click upon transform data there is option called transform data once you click upon transform data a new power query editor is going to open up this is a power query editor you are seeing here right now here you have to do certain tasks what are these tasks first of all we can see that my first row is having my headers so what i have to do i have to put my headers at the place of header only so here there are different option here you can see one option called use first row as header click here when i click here this will make this first row to be a header now what another thing i have to do is there are unwanted columns are available for example this first column i have to remove it so click on the first column right click from the mouse and click on remove this is now open each step i am performing here in the right hand side this step is being recorded by the power query next one you all also find out any other step which is unwanted yes these column 13 14 15 these columns are not wanted you remove these columns also so i am just removing these columns so here i am just done with it all data set is fully ready available here now what i have to do what i have to perform here first of all you can see that i don't want these numbers here for this particular column i have to remove it i want rd id gender age religion this is the responses i want in my data set okay now i want my data set to be coded in real time so for that i need a code book so code book is here gender male has to be converted into a numeric one code and the female into zero so first of all i have a different data set if i again use con replace option command from the excel that will take a time also what i will do first of all i will click here here you can see male and females two entities are available here males and females so i click here only on female and click okay you can see all females are available here but still i am not able to code it just because all females are available in this data set i want a unique values only available has to be there only unique values so how i will get the unique values so first of all i will go here and what i will do is i have a one option called remove duplicates i click here all duplicates values have been removed you can see that now only male and females are available here okay so what is code code is i have to make male as a 1 and female as 0 so for that i will go to transform option here you can see replace value option when i click on replace value one option will pop up the replace value function have one advantage what it is i am just closing it down i will click here at the mail then i click on replace value you can see that it is already showing mail so i need not to type it here replace mail with what one but again remember if you convert mail first and later female then it will uh, convert this female also as a fe1 i don't want that so first of all i convert females replace value and i will code it zero okay now i'll convert males replace value adds one okay it is done okay this 
option remove duplicate i don't want in my responses so now i will just click here and remove duplicates this step i have removed when i do you can see that all my male and females already been coded automatically similarly i will come to age i will use home button here you can see that now in the right, if i click right you can see the option called remove duplicates i did it again i have only four options that i need to uh, code it so my first option is 18 to 20 so i go to transform replace value and i will code it as one okay then the second option 20 to 22 i have to code it as two okay then the third one replace value and i have to code it as three similarly i have to code it the fourth as this 24 and above so i will code it as four you can also check it out here in the age i have these code in my code book so now i will remove this step remove duplicates now and when i do it all age variables now being coded similarly i have go to religion remove duplicates when i do hindu replace value as one okay muslim replace value as two sick replace value as three okay and christ replace value as four so it is also done religion again i have to remove this step remove duplicates when i do you can see that religion is also coded similarly i have to select state right click remove duplicates only four states are available now replace value uttar pradesh as one himachal pradesh hp as two andhra pradesh as three and madhya pradesh as four similarly i will remove this step remove duplicates from here and all state now being coded similarly i will go with the family income and here you can see if i'll again do this remove duplicates first and here 3 to 5 replace value 1 okay 5 to 7 replace value as 2 7 to 9 replace value as 3 and 9 and above replace 4 so here i have did it and again i will start with and remove the duplicate step which i did earlier so here my family income is also removed so now you can see that my all values are coded with this similar step and you can see that all values i have coded by doing this here all steps is being recorded in this right hand side replace value for each individual column i have done it so now what is the next step once you do this you go to home and here this option called close and load click here when you do this it will prepare your file in real time all your option will get quoted here you can see that here my all option all responses is being coded automatically in real time now you want to ch cross check whether it is working or not so you can see here 49 responses are there for all this and they are coded so what i am trying to do is i am just recording one more response here i go to my sheet this is my sheet here you can see how many responses 49 i am recording 50th response here let's say this is a male my age is let's 18 to 20 i belong to sick 
I am from Andhra Pradesh and I just copy and paste this any option I am just doing it randomly okay done so now you can see that I have now 50 responses 50 the responses I have recorded myself and I want to make sure whether the response is already being accommodated in the excel file or not so now you can see that I have as 50 mail and this is the last response I recorded. If I open this file, I only have 49 responses. So where is my 50th response that should be uh, recorded in the real time and coded in the real time? Yes, it will in Power Query. How? You just click here with inside this table where I have this 49 responses. Go to the refresh all tab. And click here refresh all once you do you can see this is how the power query is working the 50th response is coded automatically without doing any effort and this is what the magic of power query in real time your responses is being coded let's check whether it is right or wrong what I recorded was the first option the ender as of mail so mail means once 18 to 20 is the response so here I have to record it as a 1 yes so here 1 1 yes this is true religion I picked it as a sick which means 3 as per my code you can see here religion is sick 3 and it is visible here also so this is how power query works it will automatically code your responses so this means that both task is happening in real time one the response is being collected another the response is being coded in numeric form using power query i hope you like this video thank you for watching